Welcome back to the channel, boys. Fat Balloons, he's coming at your neck with this 100 strength ACD feedback fence build. Now, with this build, you're literally going to feel like a walking god because any enemy that gets close to you, boom, they're going to blow up. There's going to be arc explosions going everywhere. As long as you stay charged with light and you're doing, you're getting melee kills, honestly, <laughs> any thrall or any type of enemy that's going to rush you, they're going to be immediately blasted and just vaporized. So let's break down this build so you guys can understand. So for my subclass of choice, I'm using Code of the Aggressor, which is the one that gives you the shield bash. Now, my main reason for using this one as opposed to some of the other uh, classes that give you, you know, shoulder charge or the hammer strike is because I like uh, right here in the trenches. Kills while surrounded by enemies reduce the cooldown of your super, as well as this perk grenade kills recharge your grenade energy because I'm going to use my grenade to get back my melee as fast as I can and honestly just like I like the sentinel shield and you get a second shield throw while you're you know while you're super active so that's always nice plus the melee the shoulder the shield bash actually disorients enemies like it, it, you hit the target and then there's like a blast of void energy that goes out and it and it disrupts or suppresses the enemies near so they're kind of like staggered a little bit which gives you some time to clean up those kills around you so you know you can actually pair this with any of the other ones shoulder charge or hammer strike i was actually thinking about using this with hammer strike because the when you land hammer strike it actually weakens that target so it'd be kind of useful for some of the tankier targets but i like this one simply because when i'm surrounded i'm gonna get super energy so for your loadout it really you don't really have to do my specific one as long as you're running a shotgun i'm running lord of wolves because i honestly love this weapon like i have 2,000 kills with it which is you know there's probably people, people who have more but still 2,000 kills is a good amount um i love this weapon i think it's so good because it's when it's in its regular form you can get do targets you can kill targets pretty quickly but then once you switch switch to the release the wolves mode you can burst down like bosses and stuff so this is a very versatile weapon in my opinion i'm also running an auto rifle with anti-barrier rounds because i'm going to be using this in a nightfall and then my my, this is my boy right here lying in the sand this thing is a beast so for my stats i'm running 46 mobility 45 resilience which i wanted to get this higher but i had to sacrifice because the way my gear is rolled i'm only able to get this 245 i'm running 31 recovery 34 discipline which again i would have liked to get this higher but it is what it is 21 intellect which i'm not too worried about and then i'm running 100 strength because i want to have my shield bash as much as possible i'm going to be pushing you know pushing my team up trying to get these melee kills trying to get surrounded and get charged with like by getting kills with shotguns so having 100 strength is going to allow me to do do that because the shield bash is going to disorient the enemies nearby i'm going to pop my barricade and clean those enemies up so having 100 strength is pretty important in this build all right so let's go ahead and break down this armor now so on my helmet i have a discipline mod I'm running shotgun ammo finder. This is pretty important because you're going to want to have your shotgun available as much as possible. Lord of Wolves is really good, especially, you know, for these tankier targets, which is a lot of them in the nightfall. And then I'm running reactive pulse. Now, while charged with light, taking damage when surrounded by combatants allows you to emit a burst of damaging arc energy, consuming one stack of charge with light. And then since I'm running another arc mod, gain a powerful overshield while performing your finisher. So this right here is like feedback fence in itself. So I'm going to stack this with feedback fence so I can have double the amount of arc waves going out just to protect myself from thralls or any enemy that's going to rush me. I really like this mod because it only takes one stack of charges light you know so if you have four which I'm, I'm gonna have four that's just one and then if i pick up an orb of light or when i start getting shotgun kills boom that charge with light stacks is just gonna fill right back up so this is a pretty slept on mod i haven't really seen anybody use this honestly and then boom right here this, this exotic now this exotic is honestly kind of a meme I don't know why. I mean, I can kind of understand why, but I honestly think it's pretty good. So the perk that comes on is Fury Conductors. Melee kills build energy. Being struck by a melee attack reduces incoming damage and unleashes the energy in a devastating explosion. So it kind of saves your butt from like thralls because the thralls in the nightfall is actually hit kind of hard. You know, I think two, I think two thrall hits, you're going to die. So being able to save yourself from that, as well as, you know, getting melee kills is going to like build up this energy and then release it whenever you get attacked. So it's actually kind of nice. The only thing I wish it did was it doesn't keep that perk. You know, once you start getting these melee kills, you get like times one, times two, times three or whatever. But then after a little bit, if you don't actually get hit with a melee attack, it goes away. So it is useful when you do have it stacked, but if they somehow buffed it to make it so the stack stayed regardless until they went away, I think this would be a really, really good exotic. It's still pretty good, but you know, I can see why some people don't like to use it. I'm also running a, dis I'm sorry, a strength mod. 
and then I'm running enhanced momentum transfer because I want to have my melee as much as possible. So causing damage with a grenade greatly reduces your melee cooldown. Just makes sense for me to have this plus any any grenade kill is going to recharge my grenade because of my subclass. And on my chest piece, we're rocking a strength mod, of course. And then we're running counter charge. So whenever anybody deals with a champion, I get charged with light. And we're running taking charge, picking up a charge with light. I'm sorry, picking up an orb of light makes you become charged with light. Since I'm using my Lord of Wolves, it is masterwork. So then again, I it makes sense for me to use this. Plus, you know, my teammates, once they use their supers and stuff, there's going to be a lot of orbs of light around. So this is a very good mod to have. On my legs, I have a strength mod. And then I have super charge, which allows me to have two additional stacks of charge with light. Like I said, having more stacks of charge with light is very good for this build because you're going to want to always have those active. So that way, once you do get hit with an attack, it sends out the bulwark pulse. I think that's called bulwark, bulwark pulse. <laughs> it's going to send that out. It's like an arc wave and it's going to clean up any enemy that's around you, saving your life multiple times. So having as much stacks as possible is going to be very good. And on my class item, we're rocking an uh, outreach, reduce melee cooldown when using your class ability. Again, just trying to get my melee cooldown as much as possible i believe my class of my class ability is on a 30 second cooldown if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong since we're using a shotgun i'm using pump action gain bonus super energy on shotgun kills stack this with whenever i'm surrounded by enemies i get more super energy per kill so it makes sense for me to use this i'm going to be using lord of wolves and then we're running quick charge Become charged with light by rapidly defeating multiple combatants with fusion rifles or shotguns. And since I'm also running another arc mod, greatly increase the ready speed of fusion rifles, shotguns, submachine guns, and swords. So this is a very good mod to have with this build because I'm going to be running around with Lord of Wolves trying to get close as possible. And Lord of Wolves does a lot of damage and you can shred down these bosses. So this is a very good mod to have for this build because, again, I'm going to be up close and personal. So after testing this build out in a few Nightfall runs, I quickly realized that maybe this wasn't the best build for Nightfalls because of the fact that the enemies are so lethal in Nightfalls. I was putting myself in a lot of bad situations and I ended up dying, causing my team to lack that DPS they needed or that ad clear they needed. And now they were down a fire team member and putting myself and my teammates at risk of losing or going back to the checkpoint, which wasn't good. Although that the reactive pulse was saving my life a couple of times whenever thralls were pushing me or any type of rushing enemy, um, I wasn't really getting the full use out of the feedback fence arms. Um, but there was one, you know, event or event style that I found is really, really powerful in the, the altar of sorrows, the contact public event. I found this extremely, extremely powerful in that event because the enemies aren't as lethal, but there's so many of them. You know, I, I was really getting a lot of usage out of the reactive pulse, out of the feedback fence, because when you get the feedback fence perk activated, you actually get a damage resistance. So I found myself really, really coming in. Like I was able to stay up close and personal for so long, not to mention the fact that getting kills while surrounded, I was getting a lot of super energy. I was piped my super a lot in these events, which is fine because that means more orbs of light generation for my teammates meaning that they're going to get their supers more often which means more super energy for me because they're going to drop orbs of light it was just like a, a vicious cycle and like i was actually really enjoying it i actually felt like a god you know like i was saying anytime i pop my super i was getting these arc pulses that it was spread out around me um anytime that they were pushing me any you know whenever i was up close with my uh, Lord of Wolves, I was just oh, doing so much damage, so much ad clear. It was a lot of fun, you know, and I wonder if this could be useful in the raid. I know that in the raid, you know, everyone likes to run Titan bubbles or you want to have the melting point from the hammer strike to weaken enemies. But just the simple amount of ad clear that this build can provide, you know, it comes in handy because in the raid, you know, although there is mechanics and stuff, you don't want the ads to get in the way. So if you have someone who's more focused on ad clearing, I suggest running this and just see how it is. If not, of course, you can always switch back to the Titan bubble or whatever it might be. But I think that this would be really handy in the raids and I highly recommend it. You guys check it out. It is a lot of fun, though, regardless if it's not maybe that good in some of the end game activity. It is a very, very fun build. So definitely try it out. If you just want to try some crazy stuff, this is the one for you. But if you guys like this content, please like, subscribe, and share. It truly really helps me out a lot. You can also check out my other videos. Links are in the description below. I have a lot of crazy builds in there, so go ahead and check that out. And you might as well follow my social media. I have a Twitter and an Instagram, both at fan underscore Both all that being said, deuces.